All right, back out here in the wood shop, and uh, today is June 9th. This is episode 49, and I'm getting ready to wipe these uh, parts down so I can prime them. Uh, the hood, I have to. I'm gonna go ahead and scuff sand over the areas that I put uh, self etching primer on. Actually, I've got some to do on the both doors as well, so I'll, I'll scuff sand those areas, wipe these down. And then they'll be ready for a... Uh, I'm going to put two coats of uh, the 2K primer on it. Like I said yesterday, it's a high build primer. And that gives you room to sand, you know, block sand it back. So we'll see what they look like once that's on. There we go. All right, I got the primer down. Um, doors are looking a lot more crisp than they did before. Um, I'm liking this line here, uh, and they're they're looking a lot a lot better than they did the first go around. So uh, there's still some areas that I need to hit. I can tell this is going to need a little bit of glaze. So this this door is going to get blocks in again. Here's here's a couple of low spots. I can see them. So this, this door is gonna get uh, block sanded again. So no worries there. Kind of the same thing on this door. This door looks even, in many respects, better than that one, uh, the, the other one over there. Uh, I do have an area here that's gotta be hit. There's a little something going on right there, right here in the corner. So basically the door handle area needs to be given some attention. Looks like a little bit of attention needs to be uh, given over here. This, this part of the, the door panel is pretty flat. There's looks like this might be a little bit high in there. Again, I'll block sand, and we'll find out where they are. Probably start using a guide coat too, which is just a contrasting color that you dust on. Um, you dust the panel with a, a contrasting color. In my case, I've got black. It's actually left over from the truck restoration. And then when you uh, block sand, uh, whatever whatever's left behind, it black obviously is low so uh, the hood looks really good um, that's a shadow actually uh, I'm I'm very very glad that the hood looks this good uh, first up because uh, there's a lot of a lot of surface uh, square square inches there to have covered um, I got two coats on this and one coat on the doors, I ran out. So I made sure I got two coats on the on the hood. The doors already had two coats, uh, minus what was sanded off. Uh, but yeah, for the most part, uh, what I'm seeing here on the hood is is uh, really good. I mean, of course, this is under the hinge. I'm not really worried about that as much. Uh, but it'll get a full block sanding as well, just so that I'm, I make sure that I'm not missing anything. So yeah, I'm gonna let these dry. Uh, probably just go ahead and let them dry overnight. I, I could probably do it this afternoon, but I've got other work on the Jeep to do. So uh, that's gonna be it on the doors in the hood for now. Tomorrow I'll uh, block sand them and uh, see where we're at. All right. All right, after I got done uh, priming the hood and the two doors, uh, what I've done is spent the last several hours um, doing some detail sanding. Um, sanded the uh, entire window frame with 220, uh, both sides. And uh, lots, of little, lots of little odds and ends sanding, just places that uh, I needed a scuff sand at the very least. 
so that the uh, primer will adhere to it. And um, in addition to that, I sent, went ahead and uh, I had filled this uh, to try to get create some more curve like that one. And I went ahead and sanded that back uh, as well as the, uh, the side, both sides with uh, 120. Um, they'll be sanded 220 before I prime them. But this is getting closer and closer. Um, I think it's looking pretty good, almost almost ready to prime. Uh, there's there's some uh, little things that I want to do before I do that that I know are going to be a problem. But uh, I did add some uh, filler to here again too, so that it, it doesn't uh, curve in as much. It's it's kind of matching the rest of the panel now. Um, it's a little bit curved in, but <clears throat> excuse me, um, not much. And there's the thing I'm being careful not to do is to uh, leave too much filler back on. I gotta when I added some here. I wanted to, you know, take, I had to take some off of it, but I also took some off all along the panel too, to try to, you know, to blend and to uh, make sure it's nice and flat and straight. So looking down the panels, you know, they're looking, of course you don't know until you've got primer on for sure, but you know, you're, you can get an idea by looking down the panels just straight now. And I've got a little bit of, looks like I got a little bit of a curve right in here. I have to look at that and address that. But anyway, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna call it for today. I've got a, it's not quite deer 30 yet, but I've got some grass I need to cut. So this right here, um, and the curve over here is getting closer and closer. I think I might do a little bit more just to put uh, some right in, right in this area, leading up into there. And I think once I do that, I think I'm gonna be about as good as I need to be or can get reasonably. So, all right, that's gonna do it. Catch you guys next time.